yeah? And don't try to rush your patterns, there's no point. Your patterns, it's not about, it's not like cards that you're collecting, yeah? Each pattern is supposed to change your body in a specific way. Get your power to work in a specific way. If you're just doing it just so you're the same pattern as your friends or because, oh, I want to learn this pattern, this weapons pattern later, you're wasting your time, okay? Very important to allow the pattern to change you physically and mentally. I was explaining this on Thursday and this might just help you understand a bit better the importance of the patterns. So the first, I'm gonna talk about the first six patterns. Yeah, so you saw up to fourth today. So as I explained on Thursday, our system is based on the five ancestors, yeah? The five ancestors being um, Bodhidharma and his, his body method, his, his body strengthening, his sinew, tendon strengthening, the breathing methods of Bodhidharma. Bodhidharma is the Zen patriarch who came to China and introduced Chan Buddhism to the Shaolin Temple. Then we've got Lohan, which is the Shaolin, the original Shaolin monk fist, which is all about the posture, all about the direct power and the uh, fighting methods. Then we've got um, Emperor Taizu, which we call Tiger, and this is about the no-nonsense approach to fighting. None of this funny stuff, just go straight in, take your opponent's space and destroy them. Then we've got the white crane, which is again a bird, it's softer, yeah? And the white crane is, it can't fight head on, it needs to be deceptive, so it needs to change directions. It, it doesn't want to be toe to toe with the, with the opponent. And then we've got monkey, and the monkey is obviously very agile, very fast, changes height, jumps about. How this reflects in our patterns, so our first pattern, Sanjan, the one where you step, it's a very basic pattern. This is the original Bodhidharma influence in our system, yeah? It's about strengthening the tendons, the body methods, the breathing methods to toughen you up, to strengthen you, yeah? Then we've got our second pattern, which is Bodhidharma, and then it starts to go into the fighting applications of Lohan, the monk, the monk method, yeah? The original Shaolin monk method. Then we've got our third pattern, which is Shutsu, and this is tied Emperor Taizu. So he's an emperor, no nonsense. He's not gonna move out the way for you. He's just going to step, punch, punch, straight lines, yeah? Can I borrow you one second again? So I'm Emperor Taizu, my third form, I don't care about him. Yeah, I'm an emperor. You know, emperors regal. They don't care about the peasants. They're not a peasant, but yeah, that's what I've said. Yeah, he just goes in. I'm just going to go in and fight him. So, so fight me. I'm just going to go straight in and control. This is Emperor Taizu. This is the third form. So when you're doing your third pattern, I need to see this, this quality of step, punch, punch. And I need to see whip. You come back, bang, bang. You're all up here. You're not all over here, you're an emperor, yeah? Then we've got fourth pattern, which introduces the white crane quality. And what, what does first, fourth pattern, the first thing it does? It changes, because it doesn't want to be toe to toe. So if no one's fighting me, he's strong, I'm, I'm, I'm the crane, yeah? So he punches, I'm not gonna fight him toe to toe. I'm going to change, come off the angle. I don't want to fight him. He punches again, I change the other direction. Yeah, if I, he wants to enter on the weak crane, then I do my crane kick. So I'm deceptive. Then we've got then we've got fifth pattern. Yeah, so fifth pattern. First thing you do is you step, punch, and then you jump down, come up. Then there's sudden changes of direction. Again, I'm fighting him. He comes into attack. I'm just going to jump back and I'm going to attack low. You know, come up. He comes in, I'm going to control, change direction, and use my whipping and control. So this is the first five freehand forms, and then we got Shaolin Staff, which is our sixth pattern, our first weapons pattern, and this is basic staff. Again, this is the monk, you know, you, in the movies you see the monk, they hold the staff, they walk around like this. This is, again, extending that martial prowess, that intent, that focus beyond your body, to the tip of a staff, yeah? So treat each pattern as an individual thing and try to learn what it's trying to teach you.